at Joanne's Fabric and <laughs> I'm going to be choosing the fleece for Merlin's or no. Um the new chinchilla. <laughs> I can't. Go on. Who cares? There's nobody here. No, don't bother. There's only like two people. Okay. Uh, oh. No, this is boring. Yeah. No. That's my style. We don't want my style. <laughs> So I know this is kind of like not the best lighting, but this is a fleece that I ended up getting from Joann's and I just thought it'd be cute for pee pads. You sinner! <laughs> Alright guys, so we're going into PetSmart now. I'm really excited. We're just going to buy a few things here because I ordered most of it off of Amazon. Talk about that dog. <laughs> no, I'm talking about you. So here we are, and what I was was gonna get from here is another one of these big huts because I kind of want them both to have the same hut. Do you agree? <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna get this one. I guess the wait for it to focus. <laughs> the next thing on the list, I wanted to get a lava ledge. I think. Wait. So as you guys can see here, the next thing is a lava ledge, oh. and Merlin actually really likes these too. But I'm just gonna get one of these. Wait, yellow or pink? Huh? Yellow or pink? pink. No, cause the B is gonna match the yellow. No, oh. But the pink contrasts the bees. Wouldn't it coordinate with the bees? No, because the main fleece is not. I say yellow. We'll okay, go with. Okay. Yeah, that works. Can you put it in the hut? Oh yeah, okay, I wanted to also get him some treats. I've actually never bought Oxbow treats before, but I kind of wanted to welcome the new little guy with some, so they're kind of expensive. They're like six bucks for, well, it's just not too much. There's not that much. When I want treats. Last thing is just some water bottles. One water bottle. Um, I think I have this one. Could I have this one? Should I just get two of the same kind or a smaller one? These are, no, I'll just get some big ones. I agree with just big one. these. Okay. Just knowing how like on top of things you are. Think? Wait, I should get some toys too. I forgot about toys. Okay, right. so I think we're gonna pick up a <laughs> I, I, think, them. I'll them. I think we're gonna pick up a few toys here. Um Dude, this reminds me of Toy Story. Have you seen the latest one? No. It's actually pretty funny. I have a Disney Plus. You you have Disney Plus? Yeah. Expo now came out with toys. I never Lula. even knew Lula. that they made like this many toys. And Looks like candy. The color of the tag is blue too. Okay, so which ones? This one. Um, I have a bunch of Willow stuff though from the AZ Chin. So which toy for Merlin? No, for the new chinchilla. You know. That's good. Toys. Let's pass this is kinda cool. Okay. Is that it? Mmm. This. Yeah. Okay, well, I think we'll I was more this. digging this right here. Mm, no, but these are like. Way wait, better. Yeah, because they're like sticks. Okay. What? Okay, guys, so this was a separate order from AZ Chinchillas. And I just thought I would show you since I got this for the new chinchilla as well. But it's just basically like the seagrass mat. This um, I have four of these. And then I think I have four ledges in this hut too. And like some of these. And um, I made this pillow and this pee pad. I'm going to make more pee pads and pillows with the fleece. But pretty much I just, I'm not doing like a haul because you'll see it all in the cage when I do a cage tour. But yeah, these are just some more things that I bought for the new chinchilla. Right, guys so we just set up this new cage here and it did take my dad and I like about 20 minutes but 
we eventually got it all put together. I also decided to add this little ledge here because I think like when I first get him, he's going to be kind of scared. So I kind of wanted to make this a little quiet place for him to rest. And then I did add these two because here's the problem. I don't have any liners for the bottom pan like that pan over there. I don't have any liners, so I would either have to make a new one or put tile, and I really wanted to put tile just like Merlin's cage, but I'm gonna need to buy some more tile and like cut it so that it's all fitted. I don't know if you guys can see, but Merlin has a gap underneath his wheel of tile that doesn't fit, and I kinda wanna make this new cage not have that gap, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, this is the cage. I'm now going to try to set it up for my new chinchilla, and I get him in about a week and a half from right now, so I don't need to necessarily have it all done today, but I'm gonna try my best to finish it. And these are all the supplies that I kind of got, and I might separate these boxes between Merlin and the chinchilla, so yeah, I just got these as like little treat containers, and I got a bunch of stuff from PetSmart. I made these. I got an, a hut. It matches Merlin's hut in his cage, and then I got him a little uh, food ball, coop cup thing, just like Merlin's, except this one's huge. It is 16 ounces. Like, you'll see how big it is. It's a little too big, but oh well. And then I also got this, which is just a little carrier that I'm going to be carrying him home in. And this was off Amazon for, I think, like $25. And then I need to cut that towel so I can make an extra absorbent layer for that because I only have one currently. So, yeah, it's kind of exciting. I also have to choose the fleece that I want for his new cage and I think I'll go, I'm gonna go with the blue just because it matches the bumblebee print As far as hay sacks go, goes, I have this one. It's like an older one, but it's really big. And then I have this that a subscriber made me, and they sent it to me, and it's so beautifully stitched. I'll be using it in this cage because it goes really well with the fleece. So I kind of want to make it opposite. I was going to put the hole over there, over here in this corner, but I decided to keep it the same just in case. You know, I don't want to take the whole cage apart if I ever want to switch it. So I decided to keep it just like Merlin's, but I kind of want to make his cage look a little bit different than this one. I mean, his cage look a little different from this one. So this is how his is set up. His hay rack is there, his food bowl and water are on that side. So I think I want to put his food and water on this side. Okay guys, so I have not really done much more progress on it because me and my dad need to make some ledges. And then we got this new tile. I decided to get rid of that. We got this new tile, it's like this black kind of textured and cute and then I also decided to get these oxbow organic barley biscuits just so that I could have some new treats and I'm actually going to feed them to Merlin right now put it in the little jar and I think that's super cute so I'm going to see what he thinks and I think one should be good for him um sorry it's kind of dark down here but let's see how he likes it I knew he would love it Merlin just he lives for treats I also ordered this I, got, I just got it in the mail from Amazon. It's about $60, but it's this playpen that this is how high they are. Like, that's crazy. That's super high. I think it comes up to about here on the cage, the critter nation. So I know for sure the chinchillas will not be jumping over that. This is just kind of me buying stuff and setting up for it, but I will be showing you the whole process of actually adopting the new chinchillas. So I'm excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry it was kind of all over the place, but oh, and I took off the top to try to put the ledges on and now I need to, yeah. Anyway, you guys will see the finished product. So yeah, this is what it just, it's all looking like. I will see you in the next video. Merlin really loves this little treat.